evening. We're here at the headquarters building of the Humane Society of the United States, HSUS. We prefer to think of them as the Inhumane Society of the United States. This is an organization that has blocked shelter reform and that is an apologist for the killing of healthy homeless animals by shelters across this country. We're here to deliver a message to HSUS. We're tired of their getting in the way of the no-kill movement. We just came from a conference that was held here in Washington, D.C. at George Washington University, where 800 participants gathered to share stories and strategies of successful implementation of the no-kill equation. No-kill works. We don't need to kill healthy shelter animals anymore. The Inhumane Society of the United States has also been the briefcase carrier for Michael Vick, convicted animal abuser, convicted dog killer, someone who literally drowned animals in his own swimming pool, who hung animals from the trees on his property. This is the man that Wayne Vincelli, CEO of the Inhumane Society of the United States, literally has given an entree back into the NFL and into polite society. We, we say no Michael Vick, no redemption for Michael Vick, and we hold HSUS responsible for his being back in the NFL and being a role model to the youth of Philadelphia that are now following in his footsteps and the dog fighting in Philadelphia is increasing rather than decreasing. I've just been told by one of the employees of HSUS that Nathan Winograd, the leader of an international no-kill movement, who is an attorney in good standing and who was able to gather 800 people here in Washington, D.C., from a number of different states and even a number of different countries around the world, that he was a crackpot, that he was crazy, that we shouldn't listen to him. Well, he's telling us how to stop killing shelter animals. What's wrong with that? We have a real issue with the fact that the Inhumane Society of the United States is propping up shelter managers who insist on continuing the killing of healthy homeless animals of pit bulls who they believe are inherently dangerous and inherently evil. And I've been told that from one of the people that actually runs their dog fighting unit. This is an organization that does not deserve support. They use fraudulent methods to gain donations that are not used for the animals, but are rather used to fund their pension fund and their high salaries. We need to stop the killing, and all I can say is shame on the Inhumane Society of the United States. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. shame.